talking about the first goal, what you saw there uh, on the cross? Uh, Zuzi, Zuzi put a real good ball in. Uh, it just kind of got over Aaron and in front of Amir. And, uh, you know, he had a powerful header on goal. Um, you know, I think that's a play where you just have to credit them and, you know, they made a nice play. Simple as that. Ryan, this run in the tournament has been so spectacular to get to the final. Um, but then the disappointment at the end, something that probably is even super difficult to even put in the words. Yeah, you know, uh, kind of at a loss for words. We just were devastated. There's no other way to put it. We, you know, we wanted to win this for our fans. You know, we have such unbelievable supporters. You saw how many of them came all the way out here to Kansas City. And we just wanted to repay their support. Unfortunately, we came up a little short. And, you know, hopefully this will just spur us on to, to push for the MLS Cup now. Thinking of getting back on track, a quick turnaround and another road game. Sasha was just out here talking about how important these points will be in every game coming down the stretch here in the regular season. Yeah, you know, in a way, maybe it's a good thing. We can't, you know, it'll... It'll make us move on from this. Um, you know, we got a big game in Columbus. We know the teams around us have been winning. Montreal won tonight and Atlanta won tonight. So, you know, I guess we feel sorry for ourselves tonight and, you know, get up tomorrow, dust ourselves off and, and start looking forward to Saturday. And, and we got Wednesday uh, DC at home as well. So the games are coming thick and fast and, you know, we just got to be up for it. Do you think it'll be a game tonight that you'll go back and look on and the team will go back and look on? And sometimes the numbers don't always tell the story, but in a lot of categories, you see more shots, more possession, passing accuracy pretty good, more duels won. A lot of the numbers favored New York except the scoreline. Yeah, I think that's what makes it even harder to swallow because we did play very well. Um, we were all over them and just, you know, ended up on the on the short end of the stick. So that's what makes it frustrating. And, you know, I think at the same time, you got to give Kansas City credit. They're a great team, you know, especially in the first half. They had us on our heels a bit. Um, so credit to them. Congratulations to them. And, um, yeah, we're, we're upset, man. We're devastated. The second goal there, uh, were you in like a bit of a tweener spot there? Obviously, you, you, you got to get outside the box. Did you hesitate for a second there? Would you change anything that you did, do you think? or? Uh... Yeah, it was a tough one. It was kind of one of those in-between plays, and um, I think you just got to make a decision and commit to it. And, uh, you know, in the end, that's the difference of us winning and losing, so that's tough. Ryan, you, you both, you've been around the team for, for quite a while, so, but, but it's also now there are older players, and then you know some of the younger players are coming through. Can you just talk a little bit about that young group of players and how they did tonight because it's a matter of competition. One of the things Jesse said after the game was he saw, you know, a lot of guys grow into men. You know, I think if you look across, you know, Tyler Adams, Sean Davis, Alex Mule, some of these younger guys, even Amir and Fidel at the back, they're both 21, 22 years old. And, you know, they were all great. They really were. This is a tough place to play in a big game. And, and they were awesome. So, you know, I think... The future of the club is bright, you know, with this, we got great kids coming up from the academy and that pipeline is strong. So, you know, we like to think we'll have plenty more finals to, to play in in the future, but at the same time, this one hurts. Thanks, Ryan.